Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. You know, having soda, it's kind of bad for you. Well, I mean, I've seen you dr guzzle down a bunch of sodas almost every day working on the force. You know how bad that is for your teeth? Come on, detective. Where is the hostility coming from? I'm just mere merely minding my own business. And yet you still agitated with me. Why is that? I haven't done anything to you. <laughs> ah, detective... That wasn't my fault. I have no idea how your uh, second-in-command officer suddenly passed away uh, like a month ago. I had no idea who done that. That's such a tragedy. You think something like that would be developed around me? I've been here the whole time. Like... Our promise. Remember? I don't cause any type of harm nor killing. And I get a free place to stay. Because of your own kindness of your own heart, you decided to keep me with you. Now, can you tell me... The definition... Of curiosity... Curiosity is something in our minds, something in our tiny little human brains that tickle the back of our heads and makes us wonder what could actually happen if I do this certain thing. Some people are just more curious than others. That's why there's a saying, <laughs> You're right. I am blowing smoke out of your ass. <laughs> Listen. I know we have our differences. Trust me. If I didn't need you for everything that I needed to do, I would have killed you already. But yet we're still here. Because you're important to me. You're important for my plans. And I have very thought out plans. These plans stretch out for months upon end. And you really think I'm just going to let all of that crumble underneath me like some gravel? Hmm? No. You see. I have my friends out of prison. They're living their best lives right now. I'm out of prison. Because honestly, I have no right to be in prison. Because of a uh, murder that didn't happen around me. Now that sounds like somebody who's innocent and being framed. Do you think I'm being framed Detective. That's what I thought. But, 
I shouldn't be really talking like this. After all, we're outside and in public. Anyway, you know there's uh, certain things that I like about you, detective. You know, there's lots of uh, good things about you. Yeah, I can say that, right? Good things about you. You have nice hair. Your eyes are, uh, well, better looking than mine. <laughs> and, uh, well, you're much more better shape than me. Maybe. Is it working? Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> what? Say that again. No, 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 no. Don't back up for me now. Come here. Come here. Come here. What did you say to me? That's, you know, <laughs> I never would have thought they'd actually bring him back. Well, sadly, I know a little, uh, little secret to say. With my friends that uh, you helped me get out of prison. Maximum security, right? The ones I mentioned? Yeah. Uh, the new case of yours sounds awfully familiar to me. I don't have anything to do with it, actually. So you're gonna let me finish my sentence? Or am I gonna have to sit here and be quiet because of you? Perfect. Now what I was saying was... My friends that are now out of prison, they might have something to do with that new case of yours. I said might. That's not a hundred percent. But, since you said there was some type of uh, circle or like a ritual outside of where that happened, in that woods that are near the highway, I think I have just a suspicion, just a suspicion, Hoodie and Masky might have done that. But, like I said, that is just my opinion. I have no right of what they're doing. They're free men. I just wanted them out. But, if you can try to find and locate them and ask for a few questions, I don't think they'll have any problem with that. <laughs> Why are you threatening me? I'm innocent in this situation. You have no proof of me being involved with any of this. <laughs> oh, you are so stupid. Every time I talk to you, I feel like my brain is leaking out of my ears. Listen, detective, you think I'm just this dumb criminal who all he cares about is murdering people and sending them off to their rightful ends. No, 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 no. Detective, I am a lot more smarter than you think I am. And you think 
that I'm just gonna let this stand by and you talk down to me like I'm some sort of dog. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to hurt you because really I need you. You're special in this situation. Nothing more, nothing less. You're used as a tool for me. And there's nothing you can do because then you'll be set as the bad guy for attacking an innocent man. You got nothing on me. So I suggest you watch your tone when you're talking to me. Perfect. Now, I need another favor from you. So, listen up. Come on. Where's your uh, pen and paper? I need a few things. Obviously. More booze. Secondly, I need a chaperone. Well, I just can't go out in public by myself, now can I? I need a chaperone because I want to do a little shopping for myself. Well, I mean... Getting back into society, well, I need something that looks a little bit more cleaner than what I have. And, well, I mean, look at my clothes. I have all sorts of blood stains, like, just clenching on for its life on these things. I need something that looks more clean. Mm hmm? And if you have to, you can bring another chaperone with me while I go shopping. Even though it's not necessary, because I don't kill people anymore. Perfect, I would say around, uh... Mmm, six... Not, not, and not AM. You crazy? <laughs> 6 PM. Thank you. Alrighty. Well then. Just remember. Don't try anything behind my back. Cause I'll, I'll know. Trust me, I have eyes, I have eyes like a hawk. Detective. You know this quite well. And I have ears everywhere. No, I didn't bug your house. You think I'm that smart? I just have ears everywhere. Remember that. Alright. Alright. I'll head home now. I'll stop bothering you while you work here. Hope to see you soon at home. I'll see you later, detective. Bye.